Hey, what's up, guys? I've got a quick unboxing here for you. This is the Gods... Oh, oh shit. Godzilla, King of the... I almost said Gods and Monsters. That's a different film. Uh, Godzilla, King of the Monsters Steelbook uh, from Best Buy, like usual. It's the 4K Blu-ray digital copy uh, version. Um, I actually got to watch this last week when I got my review copy from Warner Brothers, and I had not seen it yet. And I have to tell you, I'm... I liked the first film back in 2014, the original, original, the, the first remake um, from 2014 with uh, Brian Cranston and um, actors that I don't remember their names anymore. I thought that was fun, really interesting reimagining. I liked the characters. I liked the storyline. And then I watched this, hearing about all the monsters that are in it and all the action. And I got to say, I've, I've watched it or watched it one and a half times, and I found myself distracted. Like, there's a lot of action in it. There's lots of monsters and stuff it's, it's actually pretty cool but it's, it's i don't even know what to say like i think it's it's weird i'm gonna have to sit down and just focus on watching it because i i, I for whatever reason i thought somehow i find it kind of boring and i think that's partly due to the the, the human like interactions and billy bobby brown uh vera farmiga um what's his name charles dance all the other characters of uh, cal chandler like, there's the whole storyline about that going on with the monsters and separation of kids and family and all that shit. And I was just kind of like, I don't know what it was. I didn't care about them. So I guess this is kind of like a mini rant review. But, like, it's just, I didn't, I wasn't in love with the with the human characters. And I was I was kind of um, unhappy with the way the, 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 the monster characters were going. I don't know. It was, it was, it was, it was disappointing so far. I'm going to have to sit down and watch it again. Because the first two times I've tried, like I said, the first time I didn't finish it, it was too, I was too tired to watch it. I was watching with my buddy Sam, and I only got like an hour into it, and I had to stop. But then I watched it over the weekend, this last weekend, and I, for whatever reason, I was just distracted. I was on my phone, I was doing other kinds of things, I kept looking up, and there, was, like, there were people talking. I don't know. I have to, I have to, I have to watch it again, I think. I'm going to sit down and watch it this, this weekend, and uh, check it out. But anyway, I'm ranting about the film. I guess, like I said, I'm going to make this a little mini-review, too. But, um... I guess I'm undecided so far. Like, I, if I had to give it a grade right now, I'd give it like a six, maybe a six point two five, something like that. Um, I'd give the first Godzilla like a seven and a half or so. I really, I like that. Oh, it's been a while since I saw it, so maybe I should mention that too. But um, so anyway, who the fuck cares, right? You're here to look at the steel bucket boxing. So, although you've seen probably a thousand already, I'm a little late here. But anyway, I'm glad to get this. I've been looking. I like. I said I like the cover. I like the design. Um, like the blue shade. So yeah, let's open it up. Um, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to checking it out again because like I said, I don't know what it is. I don't know what the deal is. I was just not feeling it. And I'm going to have to give it a shot again because I, I, I really wanted to like it. I watched these films. I watched Godzilla films with my dad and my, and my, my brothers and stuff growing up. And I remember enjoying a lot of them. And enjoy, like I said, enjoying the first film that came out. Even though it was flawed, it was still a fun film. I like what it was trying to do, but uh, for whatever fucking reason, you'd think this one would be even better, because it's there's way more action, but um, I, for, I, need, I don't know, I, I was not into it. I'm trying to get the glue off the back here. It's just it's all sticky and shit, so whatever. So in the front, we have Godzilla, of course. Godzilla, King of the Monsters. This is a matte finish. It's got a shine to it, but it's a matte finish. It's not glossy. I do. I like the color scheme here, the, the, the metallic blue and then this metallic yellowish on the back, which is nice, with King Ghidorah, or Monster Zero, or Ghidorah. Is it Ghidorah or Ghidorah? I forget what they said now. I always heard it as Ghidorah, but it's probably Ghidorah, or Monster Zero, I guess. And that's Godzilla on the front. And then if we open it up here, we've got the code on the left, and what's that? Oh, well, that's something else. And here is the 4K. I do like that, that I think, I don't know if it's just Warner Bros. I don't know, other companies do this too, that they have a different color. A lot of times for the the 4K, not just black. I think actually I'm thinking of the the Blade Runner one, the uh, 2049, which is kind of this same color. That's also Warner Brothers. So it comes with the 4K and the regular Blu-ray. And then on the inside is a picture of Rodan and um, Mothra. I like Mothra. Mothra's cool. Actually, I like all of them. Rodan was interesting, although he it's funny the the, the CGI stuff. It looked like exactly as I remembered him. Um, from the, the 70s films, like, or 60s films, whatever it was. Like, the design, the shape of them. I remember the, the, 
the, the, the whatever you call it, the foamy plastic look of the, the monsters from the 60 of Rodan, and it looked exactly the same to me, or it reminded me of it. So that's pretty good um, special effects, I thought. Pretty cool. And King Ghidorah was, yeah, I don't know, Ghidorah, Ghidorah, whatever. I'm going to say Ghidorah a lot, so sorry. Um, I like the steel book though. I love the color scheme here. I like the color scheme on the inside too. Very cool. And then the credits are on the inside, which is pretty typical. So let's put these discs back. That's cool. Let's take a look at the special features here, which I actually have not had a chance to delve into yet. Uh, Long Live the King, of course. When ancient god-sized monsters rise again, the crypto-zoological agency Monarch faces Godzilla, Mothra, Rodan, and King Ghidorah as they all vie for supremacy. Which, no, that's a fine storyline. It was fine. Like I said, I, that storyline with the, the monsters and all the shit was going on with them, I thought that was interesting, but I feel like I don't know what the fuck. Like, thinking about it now, there's no reason I should dislike the film. Like, I, I can't, inexplicably, I can't explain, like, I can't, I can't get the words out, obviously, of why I didn't care for it. I'm good. I literally, I need to see it again. Like, third time is going to be the last time. If, I, if I'm still not satisfied, it's going to end up being like a five or something out of ten. So maybe I'll make a video next week or something like that after I've watched it definitively. And then I'll say if I like it or not. So we'll see. Um, experience a world of stunning visual effects, secret monarch locations, and monster mythology behind the ultimate battle of titans. Cool. Sets of featurettes include Welcome to the Monsterverse, Godzilla 2.0, Mothra, Queen of the Monsters, plus deleted scenes contract by director Michael Doherty. Michael Doherty. Isn't he, um... Oh, is he, is he the trick-or-treat guy? I might be totally forgetting that, but I thought that name sounds so familiar. Like, I feel like he's got a horror background. Or... Wait. I don't know. I'm, 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 I'm talking to my ass, sorry. Let me know in the comments if you know who that guy is. He's very familiar. I have. I feel like he's a horror reference. So, or like House, House of Haunted Hill, maybe? I'm, I'm getting it mixed up, sorry. Is it producer Zach Shields and actor O'Shea Jackson? Oh, that's right, he was in it too. I completely forgot about that. Uh, Ice Cube Jr. You know, was in it as well. He was a military guy or something. And he was completely forgettable, apparently. Um, there's the credits. Legible stuff above 4K. There's the movie code. Uh, movies Anywhere, all that stuff. How long is this film, actually? It feels long. 132 minutes, so it's 2 hours and 12 minutes, which... It feels that long, yeah. Anyway, this is way too long. I didn't expect this to be that long. <laughs> Sorry. I got on a rant about the movie itself. Like I said, this is going to be like a... It's a mini, like, rant video slash movie review slash unboxing. But, um, anyway. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, let's see if I can get this in frame. Oh, and I didn't mention this yet. I got a new um, a smartwatch. What do we call it? Uh, Fitbit. See that? It is 8.37 on Tuesday night, which, of course, everyone's already put out videos of this, but I figured, what the fuck, I'll do it myself. But I got this uh, this, this weekend because I've um, kind of retired my old watch I had for seven years, my um, uh, my solar watch that I've had for years. Um, but this one I've been liking. Look, as you can see, I've already got my... Uh, 11,000 steps. I'm probably going to hit 12,000 before I go to bed here at some point. And I'm 3,000 calories burned. My heart rate's rising, apparently. And it says it's raining right now, but that's the, so far the weather app's been kind of off. But it's not raining, but whatever. I don't think it's 62 degrees either. Anyway, that's cool. This is the Fitbit Versa. What do you guys care, right? What, you don't care at all. <laughs> well, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm enjoying... My Versa, and I'm going to enjoy this stupid movie again for the third time this weekend. So, thanks for watching, guys. I do like this steelbook. I recommend, if you can get it, I remember, I think I've seen some videos from people, and there were a lot of these in stock. Um, not so much of the Rocket Man ones, but I, from what I've seen anyway, there's been more of these. But, you know, who the hell knows? Each store is different. And I'm still talking, so I should probably cut this, cut this video off. So, thanks for watching, guys. I know I'm rambling, but uh, thanks for sticking with me. Um, uh, Godzilla, King of the Monsters, I'm going to give it a shot. I, let me tell, tell me if you actually liked it too. Like I said, I'm kind of curious if I'm the only one who feels this way. Um, my consensus online is mostly people liked this film, um, but it was kind of split when it came out. I think people have warmed up to it since. But uh, um, maybe y'all warm up to it too. I don't know. We'll see. So thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you later. I got more stuff to unbox later in the month and stuff, and it's going to be fun. So thanks for watching. Bye.